Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 13th, 2019. Yesterday, obviously, we had kind of a painful sell-off day, and it really wasn't all that much of a surprise. I've been warning and talking about the idea of this blue ice failure as prices rallied back up toward that resistance level to watch for the possibility of a sell-off certainly no guarantee but to watch for the possibility of it and that is certainly what occurred yesterday in a pretty strong way and largely due to um bond yields that everyone is watching very, very closely as they inch closer and closer to that dreaded bond yield inversion, which signals the possibility of a recession in the future. So we're watching that closely and um, currencies are fluctuating around tremendously. Uh, those bond rates fluctuating around really put some pressure on the market yesterday. And then, of course, with no end in sight, at least for the moment, on the trade war with China and all of the massive protests going on in Hong Kong, market is just a little bit uncertain what to do here and uh, responded uh, very negatively yesterday. Now, one thing that was interesting about the sell-off yesterday, if we look at a just a short-term chart, if we look at a 15-minute chart, yesterday was after the morning gap was relatively slow and controlled in its selling. It was just grinding, and, and as those bond rates continued to that two and 10 year continued to um, inch closer and closer together for that possible inversion. Um, and just that slow grindy sell off creating um, a lot of pressure, a lot of nervousness, obviously in the market. So let's take a look at the technicals here and see what we have to, to, to look forward to today. First off, futures are just pointing to a very modestly lower open this morning. I mean, just kind of fluctuating around now. They've rallied significantly off of overnight lows, trying to pick back up and, and during that morning pump that seems to always happen. But right now we're looking at a 52 point uh, drop in the market um, as I speak, but those those futures are continuing to fluctuate um, substantially here this morning. So what do we have in here? Well, we do have the possibility that you can see right across here, there is this range, there's this possibility of a little price support right in here. And although we failed that yesterday, if the bulls were to step in and, and defend and push us back up, we could still get into a little bit of a safety zone maybe here, holding on and possibly setting up some kind of a consolidation move that could move us back up. However, with this lower high failure up here, breaking um, down below our 50-day moving average, holding that 50-day moving average as resistance. Notice our shorter-term moving averages are starting to move down and cross down, and we're creating this zone of resistance right here above in the chart. I got to say, it would not be um, out of the question that we could expect um, lows of last week to be tested possibly even new lows created if this market fear continues to grow. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And the reason I say possibly even move lower is really because when I look at the SPY, markets don't like to float here in midair. And that's kind of what we did here with the SPY. We found price support in this chart well above the 200-day moving average rallying back to that 50 and now showing a failure um, in this move. So that possibility that we could fail on lower testing that 200 day moving average certainly has to be in the thought process of, of this market and uh, the major concern that we have to worry about. Now, let's keep in mind, we also yesterday rallied back just enough to hold the high of those candles, that gap down. 
So if that can maintain itself today, if we can hold, if those bulls can defend this area, we still have that possibility of that reaction back up. But let's keep in mind, we're creating this in, uh, pretty intense zone of resistance here in the chart. We're going to need something substantial, I think, to, to really change up this market. Um, some news report, some, some movement in the trade war, some signal from the FOMC that they're going to start cutting rates uh, more. I don't know what it will be, but right now with that uncertainty, that may be a really difficult level to try and breach uh, for the moment. So kind of keep that in mind and don't rule out that possibility of more selling. Same thing here is true with the queues. The queues holding on, just gripping as hard as it can to try and hold on to this level right here in the chart. But once again, we've created that zone of resistance up here that we have to be aware of. And any future selling, any more selling that brings us back down in here would suggest at, at a minimum a test of the lows here. And maybe even that possibility that we seek out that 200 day moving average if that selling um, really picks up. So watch this closely. It's going to be a challenging market. Um, and there's certainly a, a lot of um, uncertainty out there for the market to react to. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been sick for a long time, um, continuing in its longer term downtrend. Excuse me. Continuing in its longer term downtrend and not looking very good here overall. And when we see this lower high failure here, we certainly have to be concerned of that. Now, IWM never at any one time yesterday even tried to propose a, a rally back of significance to try and hold on to support. We failed early through this level in the morning and it never tried to come back. So IWM is pretty darn sick here and I would expect a test of these lows uh, um, uh, is in the works and you can see right now IWM is gapping lower this morning pushing this down so a test of these lows seems very likely what's going to be critical I think for IWM is a hold of this price support right in here if we can hold that price support we could be okay to bounce back up but if that were to fail um, there's a big open hole underneath here if we drop down through that level. So let's hope that doesn't occur. Let's watch that closely. But IWM is certainly on shaky ground here. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX uh, picking back up in that fear. And this is that area where um, I'm always concerned. I, I'm never really concerned about that first sell-off. I'm concerned when we hold support and that fear starts to come back in. Right now we're holding this downtrend um, as support. We're holding this price support in the chart here as support. And if that fear continues to creep in, we could really see that fear begin to spike up. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully that doesn't occur, but we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. If this continues to rally and rise, let's, uh, let's hope that we find some resistance levels in here to um, hold it down but that can expand very, very quickly as we've seen in the past when we hold those higher lows in the VIX. And that can really expand quickly. So watch that closely and stay focused on price action. You know, one of the things that I don't try to do is predict what the market is going to do. I want to follow the market, not predict it. And that has proved to be very, very successful for me uh, over my nearly 15 years as a full-time trader. Give up this idea of prediction. Just follow the market and pay attention to the clues that the market is giving you. And one of the clues that the market is giving us is, is that threat that we could really see that selling come in if if uh, that fear starts to rise, if that bond, those bonds invert, if uh, currencies continue to fluctuate the way they are. So a lot of uncertainty, a lot of risk out there. So just stay focused to that, uh, focused in that price action, pay attention. Don't, don't fret or worry that the world's coming to an end or anything like that, because there's no way to know um, 
anything like that. There's no way to no way to um, accurately predict whether we're going to continue to sink or or if we're going to just flip around and com and rally back up. What we have to do is just stay focused and unbiased uh, in the market, watching that price action. Let's take a look at um, T2122. Now, as an indicator goes, um, T2122 is is one of my favorite. Um, it doesn't really give us um, when a turn is going to happen. It just gives us those areas where we can expect a turn uh, to begin. And right now, we're pushing this market back down here into this bullish reversal zone. We still have room to move lower. So don't be surprised if we see that selling continue in here. And also, don't be surprised if that selling could stay down in here for a little while. But what we're seeing is we're pushing back into that oversold condition, at least in the short term. And that a rally could come out of this um, eventually. Now, those rallies, this doesn't tell us how big that rally might be. We could catch a rally that looks like this, where we pop up and then turn right back. So don't get the idea that this just means that we're going to soar back to the upside. That's not what T21 is all about. It's just telling us that we've reached, we may be reaching at least, a short-term oversold condition and a little relief could come into play. We don't know what the magnitude of that relief might be. But let's watch that closely. And this gives us a little hope that we, we may be getting closer to a level of support um at least in the short term and that possibility of a little bit of a relief or a little bit of a consolidation to um, um, relax the selling here let's take a look at um, the diamonds excuse me not the diamonds always go to the diamonds but let's take a look at the economic calendar let's take a look at the economic calendar here the economic calendar has one item that we do want to pay attention to today uh, pretty closely, and that is the CPI report. The consensus is suggesting that the CPI could rise just a little bit. That's showing uh, market strength is continuing in the market. That may provide a little bit, if that does occur, that may provide a little comfort to the market that um, economic indicators um, are remaining relatively strong but we'll have to watch for that. If this happens to come out with a surprise, um, uh, CPI can really move the market at times if um, investors um, and traders are surprised by that number. So let's watch that closely at 8.30 a.m. this morning. After that, not much on the calendar to move the market around. On the earnings front, we have um, just short of 175 companies reporting earnings today. Um, We'll want to watch that pretty closely as those earnings roll in. Um, could be quite a little bit of fluctuation. Um, reports like AAP um, um, reporting today, Advanced Auto, looks like Advanced Auto missed and is gapping down uh, significantly this morning. Um, those kind of, um, those kind of uh, reports can move the market around substantially in the pre-market. So let's watch those pretty closely as earnings continue to roll in today so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and i know this is a very very challenging market right now but if we are prepared for this then we can get an idea how we want to approach the market for the day what we need to do to protect our capital and even improve our chances of bringing in some nice money so first off let me um, say thank you to everyone who watches these videos and understands that the purpose of these videos is not to predict it's just simply to provide good quality information look at the technicals and help you decide how you want to approach the market for the day and if you guys if this is the first time you've seen this and you find this information useful please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment i want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that your kind comments um, uh, no matter how brief they are helps 
to um, sh have those algorithms show these videos to more folks. And you tr you guys are truly responsible for the growth of this channel. And I thank you very much. You guys, you're awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, so feel free to share these videos with any friends and family, post them on Facebook or wherever. As a matter of fact, that helps me out quite a bit. It, it just expands out um, uh, where uh, this video might go and, and folks that may find some benefit here. So please feel free to do that. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up and quite a few charts that I talked about during the session yesterday with Rightway Options members that um, will just have some potential um, uh, moving um, in po uh, positive patterns or negative patterns that could bring profits uh, to your trading. Let's first take a look at Starbucks. Now Starbucks, even though it pulled back yesterday, um, Starbucks has still been holding up really, really strongly here. So I would keep an eye on Starbucks. If the market does come back around and starts to show bullishness, a, a chart like Starbucks um, would be one of those that could really respond well in a nice move up so kind of keep an eye on that take a look at lulu i mentioned lulu yesterday in um, the morning video as a possible short trade and that certainly worked out well if anyone took that um, but please keep in mind that um, anytime i post a chart in these videos it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything it's that it's that trade to evaluate, uh, that chart to evaluate to see if it even fits you as a trade. But Lulu responded very well to that move down. And this is what we call a blue ice failure pattern, where that, that market breaks down through the 50, rallies back up, and then we start to show failure. And uh, that failure is continuing to look pretty ugly here overall in Lulu. And there's quite a few of these charts out there uh, showing those signs. Take a look at Facebook. Um, mentioned Facebook to members yesterday and Facebook breaking down from that 50 day moving average, showing that lower high and that possibility that it could slip on lower. Take a look at SMAR, SMAR, an incredible blue ice failure that followed through yesterday, breaking the lows, brought this up to members yesterday early on in the day. That is certainly not looking very good here um, overall. How about lows? Lows also showing that downtrend failure. This is a th the next the second lower high. Whoops, that changed in tools on me. There's that second lower high and that failure right here at the 50 and 200 day moving average, looking lower here in lows. Um, uh, pretty sick looking chart. Um, SMAR, another blue ice failure pattern where we break down through that 50. And I mentioned this early on in the day um, as that possibility to go short. So if you're looking for short trades, there's quite a few out there. Another you might want to take a look at would be like uh, Dollar General. Dollar General showing us that possibility of this failure below the 50 day moving average and that possible short trade to move uh, this on down uh, to the downside. So keep an eye on that. Places where you could maybe look for some safety or some relative safety um, in charts, you might look at a stock like uh, Centos. Centos um, holding up very, very well in this trend, looking pretty good. You can see nice little response here, uh, moving strongly up and just a really light pullback so far. Um, even with the market selling, Centos might be a place that you could uh, look for some trades. Other places might be like Hershey, uh, those defensive sector stocks holding up relatively well. Hershey looking good. Um, staying strong overall in the market. Places like Coca-Cola, um, where we've moved up and just a nice little resting pullback may offer up some opportunities if the market starts to uh, move back up and you're looking for that relative safety in these defensive sector stocks. And last but not least, a, a trade that I brought to everyone's attention yesterday in Rightway Options, and this was um, Kroger. Kroger is one of those defensive sector stocks breaking this downtrend. Um, 
and, and putting in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern, which is really just the reverse of a blue ice failure. So this rounded bottom breakout break above the 50 day moving average. Notice that our shorter term moving averages are starting to cross up and we're creating that zone of price support right here. So as this stock rests or pulls back, consolidates, we want to look for that entry potential entry signal in here and um, ultimate target up here would be around the 200 day moving average better than 10 or 12 percent um, to the upside so watch that closely there may be an opportunity there so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i hope you got something out of this video today um, i know the market is pretty darn frustrating and if you're struggling as a trader right now, I want to encourage you to never give up. Just keep at it. You don't have to trade every day. You can practice in a paper trade account or whatever, but um, keep at it because eventually um, it will click. I, I believe that it, it will click. It's a very challenging business, but it will, it will turn around if you stay focused and dedicated to the craft of trading. Everyone take care, have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care now.